Hi everyone, my name is Jonas. I'm one of the software engineers here at Cosmotic. And what I'm really excited to share with you today is our latest developments around integrating Cosmotic and Kubernetes. Specifically, what we've done is we've created a Kubernetes operator or a Kubernetes controller and a set of CRDs for managing your WebAssembly applications and WebAssembly hosts for running those applications inside of Kubernetes. What this enables you to do is to extend your existing Kubernetes native tooling and workflows, such as Argo CD for GitOps, to also manage your WebAssembly applications. Before we jump into the demonstration, I'd like to talk you through uh, the high-level overview of how the different components fit together. So, as in any other development uh, workflow, we have a set of developers that will be pushing changes to Git, or in our case, GitHub, um, we'll have Argo CD running inside of our local Kubernetes cluster, uh, watching for changes uh, to the WebAssembly application definition in GitHub. Uh, and when Argo CD sees any changes to that definition, it will be then talking to our controller running inside of the cluster uh, through the Kubernetes API. And our controller in turn will be talking to a component called WDAM on the Cosmonic side. And then WDAM will be responsible for actually orchestrating the um, rolling out the changes to the new versions of the WebAssembly applications uh, that will be running on Wasm Cloud hosts, both inside of the Kubernetes cluster, as well as on the Cosmonic side. Um, additionally, we could use this exact same setup if we would like to uh, deploy applications, WebAssembly applications that are running on the edge uh, on top of an existing set of Wasm Cloud hosts. Specifically, what we've done is we've created a Kubernetes operator or a Kubernetes controller and a set of CRDs for managing your WebAssembly applications and the WebAssembly hosts for running those applications inside of Kubernetes. Um, this allows you to use Kubernetes native tooling and workflows such as Argo CD with, for GitOps uh, to manage your WebAssembly-based applications. Now, to demonstrate this, we've also put together this example repository at github.com slash cosmonic slash concordance GitOps um, that you can use as a way to work through a demo uh, of this happening using Argo CD. Um, so I've already gone ahead and created my own checkout of this um, example repository that I'll be using as a, as a way to walk through this example. Um, so I've, on my end, I've already gone through the prerequisites section. Uh, so I have a, a local cluster, Kubernetes cluster running uh, on Kant. Um, but you could be running this against a cloud-based cluster as well. Um, and as long as you have a valid keep config for talking to the cluster, it doesn't matter. Um, I also have Argo CD running on this cluster locally here. And um, and I have the latest version of Cosmotix CLI uh, already installed. Uh, and then I have a brand new account on Cosmotic.com that I'll be using for this. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into the demo. So first things first, what we'll need to do is log into Cosmotic. And as you can see, I have not yet done that. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Cosmo login will open up the tab in browser to make sure you're logged into the um, Cosmotic.com. And then it'll pull down a set of credentials for you to uh, use for locally uh, to interact with Cosmotic. Um, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get the Kubernetes cluster connected. Um, and before I do that, just to show you uh, so I have a single host uh, running inside of my account uh, that is managed by Cosmonic. Uh, so once I run Cosmonic Connect Kates, um, it'll do a couple of things. So one, uh, it'll first check to make sure you're connected to Cosmonic.com so you have a valid set of credentials. Uh, then what it'll do is it'll actually deploy a controller, uh, the control that we've developed into your cluster uh, for managing these workloads. Um, Next, it'll actually deploy a couple of WebAssembly uh, hosts to run inside of your Kubernetes cluster. And we can actually see that if we run kubectl get pod, um, you'll note that there's two Cosmo Connect entries here. And these actually match with the two hosts that we're, we've seen here. So Purple Dust and Spring Fog. Um, as you can see, they have the Kubernetes equals true label and the IO Cosmotic cluster name equals Cosmo Connect. And that's just to um, denote the fact that they are they were deployed as part of running the Cosmo Connect Kates command. So with that out of the way, we're actually ready to go ahead and start deploying the application. Um, so going in, following the tutorial, and the next step we'll want to do is actually deploy the initial version of the application. 
Uh, and since we're going to be using Argo CD for this ma managing the application, the deployment of the application in the cluster, um, we've actually uh, included a uh, an Argo CD application definition here as part of the setup. Uh, and so it's a very simple um, setup which just refers to your um, lo your repository and and it's looking at the root of the repository um, for this. Um, application definition, which is the WebAssembly application definition, that it will then will be then progressively enhancing and making changes to uh, to demonstrate the um, the fact that you can treat it like just an, any other Kubernetes resource. So let's go ahead and apply the Arco CD application. And what that will do is we should see a here we go. We have an Argo CD application. Um, it has gone ahead and it has initialized the repository it has pulled down the first commit, the latest commit, sorry and actually sync that into the cluster. So what we'll now see, if we navigate over to the Cosmonic control plane, uh, we'll see that there's a bank account application that's currently in the reconciling state. And we click into it, we can see that it's um, it's in the process of uh, linking the provider and the actor together uh, to provide as a way for a way for us to actually view this application. So we can see this same state from within the cluster by running kubectl get app. Um, so as you can see here, we have bank account. Uh, it's being deployed at the initial version of 000. Um, and it's currently in the state of comp comp compensating, which matches the state of reconciling. There's just two different labels for the same thing. Um, and here shortly, what should happen is basically the uh, our behind the scenes, our scheduler will uh, actually connect the application, set up all the different um, of all the different components, and um, we should be able to reach the applications through a um, an ingress. So let me just take a second here. Here we go. Uh, we had a new provider started um, and the wormhole link has been established. And now if I go ahead and refresh, um, we'll actually see that we have a um, Spring Word. Uh, so actually, we can just click on this link here. Um, and now we'll find the initial state of this application. So as you can see, there's a, uh, there's basically nothing here. It's just a blank application. Um, so what we'll do next is actually stage one of these, um, one of these commits uh, that we've already included as a set of branches. Um, so if I click on this link right here, um, this will be my uh, local, uh, essentially my local reproduction of, of these uh, set of release branches that we've pre-created um, for you to be able to progressively enhance the application. So we'll go ahead and call this release uh, v010, um, hit create pull request. Um, all right, and so you'll note that there's a lot of files that are changed here, um, but for the purpose of this demonstration, we only care about the changes that are happening to this wadam.yaml file at the root of the repository. And the reason for that is because this is the actual a file that um, uh, tells uh, Argo CD um, what to deploy, or this kind of defines the WebAssembly application. So any changes that are made to this file are being watched by Argo CD. Um, and so in this case, what we're doing is we're bumping the version of the application from v0.0.0 to v one uh, zero, and uh, adding actually a couple of different components, uh, a couple of new actors into the uh, definition, as well as a couple of new capabilities uh, from the platform. So um, for the sake of the demo, um, again, that looks good to me. I'll go ahead and click merge here. And then if we navigate over to Argo CD here, we can hit refresh. Um, and we'll note that Argo CD is now syncing to changes. It has picked up on the fact that there was a uh, new version that was merged. Um, and then what Argo CD will then do is actually deploy this application um, in to Cosmotic. And as you can see, we're now, uh, we've gone from version 000 to version 010. Um, it's ready to go. And now if I go over here into the application definition, um, into the actual running application, I'm sorry, um, you'll know that there's new brand new events uh, for account created and account uh, create account. And we've also got two services here, bank account aggregate, bank account projector. 
Um, actually, and if you go into the uh, visualizer view, you can actually see how these applications and these events are interacting with each other. Uh, and there's also this a neat little uh, node graph here uh, that kind of shows you the interactions. So with that release out of the way, let's go ahead and deploy our next release. Um, and so again, same idea. What we'll do is uh, call this release v020. Uh, go ahead and create the pull request. Um, and again, there's a whole bunch of changes here. But for the sake of the demo, what we actually care about are the changes that are being made into the whatam.yaml file, which actually defines the WebAssembly application. Um, and so in this case, what you see is we're going from v010 to v020 across the board. Um, and we're adding some new configuration that the applications are looking at. Um, but for the purpose of the demo, main thing we're caring about is the version, version of the WebAssembly components being bumped. Um, so the changes look good to me. Let me go ahead and merge that. Um, so again, going back to our Go CD, hitting refresh, um, you'll note that it's in the process of syncing, uh, which means that we'll actually get received the deployment. And actually, if I run kubectl get apply here, or sorry, get app here, um, you'll note that the uh, version that we've deployed and the latest version now match what we've got going on in cosmonic.com. And so we could use either one of these to watch for the changes as the application gets updated. Um, and so there you go. The changes have gone live. If we actually go ahead and refresh the application, uh, what we'll see is now this view has gotten increasingly more complex with um, a couple of additional events being added. So before we had just two events, the account created and create account. But in this case, we've got deposit funds, funds deposited, funds withdrawn and withdraw funds events, um, we'll still have just the two services running. Um, and then, uh, but, but if we look at the bigger picture here, it's starting to get a little bit more complex. And you, as you can see, um, here also the interactions between the two services and the various events are, um, you know, you can visualize that. So this kind of illustrates the power that you have when you combine Cosmonic with Kubernetes. Uh, so you can apply, bring the same, uh, web, uh, sorry, the same Kubernetes workflows and tooling that you're used to for managing your container-based workloads to now managing your WebAssembly-based workloads, which is really neat. Um, so with that, um, that's the demo. Thanks. To close this video, what I'd like to do is very quickly recap what it is exactly that we saw being demonstrated here. First, we saw WebAssembly applications and WebAssembly hosts for running those applications, running on Kubernetes, being managed natively through Argo CD using a GitOps workflow. Second, we saw that the seamless integration between Cosmonic and Kubernetes is enabled through a Kubernetes set of com components, uh, namely a Kubernetes controller and a set of Kubernetes CRDs that are easy to deploy on any culture. Lastly, while in this demonstration I was running these workloads locally on my machine on a Kubernetes cluster, you could just as easily deploy in these workloads on a Kubernetes cluster running in the cloud or a set of WASM cloud hosts running on the edge without making any modifications to the workflow or the application itself. So that is to say, these workloads run well on Kubernetes, but they are not dependent on it. Lastly, if you'd like to connect with us, you can find this demonstration on GitHub at github.com slash cosmonic slash concordance GitOps. Um, you can join us at the Cosmonic Discord, or you can join us at the Wasm Cloud Slack at um, slack.wasmcloud.com. Thank you for your time.